Sweetwater Creek Park. First mile, first attempt with Zach Heisley. And we're off. I'll see you guys at the top or maybe halfway. Checking in again, mile 2.5. Um, Zach has pushed me to my physical limit and believe it or not even though he's barely coming off the line after two years of not really training the man is actually pulling ahead by easily easily a, a solid half mile Zach how do you feel, I feel like I'm gonna die I'm gonna probably take my shirt off because it's it's seriously that hot we'll check in back with you guys here in a couple more minutes time is approximately seven about 7.50 in the evening. Zach is still ahead of me. What kind of snake do you think it is, Zach? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably a little baby king snake. Yeah. Oh, it's raining. Okay, I said that it was probably gonna rain, now it was raining, so now it's not even competing against each other or even against ourselves. Now it's competing against the rain, so we gotta, we gotta get out of here now. So now we got to fight against nature. Um, this is where it kind of begins to get a little bit difficult. Where most people just want to ditch. About half an hour ago, I had a decision to make. Whether to go back to the truck or continue to try to finish the six and a half mile run. Um, <clears throat> the upside with me going to the truck is that I would have avoided the rain or I could complete the goal and have to weather a little bit of a, a little rain shower. So I think this is where the mental part of the game comes into play. Go oh, pretty good pretty yourself. Good, man. Yeah, just beat the weather. We oh, yeah. ran like six miles in sweet water. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, damn it. I don't, I don't, I don't like shrimp. I, I get all like, oh yeah, yeah. I die from that sort of stuff. <laughs> so steak fajita nachos? Yeah, uh, steak and chicken king. king. Yeah, mixed fajitas. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, and then uh, put some of that uh, queso derretido on. Yeah. yeah that'll, perfect right there. All right, so still strong. <laughs> So we just came back from a run. We did approximately, finally did six miles. The goal was six and a half. We didn't quite make the six and a half. We ran out of time. It was raining as uh, as everyone here could could see. And uh, it also got pretty dark pretty quick. So now we're going to celebrate these six miles by having some Mexican food. Comida Mexicana. But that's it for tonight. So six miles, my legs are still pretty sore because I had to uh, pull and push that truck Wednesday and then the following day deadlifts and squats and then the two days after that I was completely shot out so <clears throat> today I felt a little bit better but not 100% like I usually am but still um, it's exactly like I was saying to Zach you know that's not an excuse for you not to go run so if anything the mountains are um, gosh, I said this, they're not very merciful and neither should you be when you go train. So, it is what it is. Until next time. Whoop.